All right, everyone. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. Today we'll be working on a Dell Inspiron uh, laptop computer. We will remove the keyboard. So let's start out. Uh, first things first. You want to make sure your uh, computer is turned off. Remove power. There's no peripheral devices that are attached to the computer. No memory cards left in it. Uh, we're going to remove the battery. We simply slide these two slots. Tilt the battery backwards and it slides out. There's some little latches here. Uh, you want to keep those in mind for the uh, reattachment of the battery later on. We'll turn on the power. Uh, nothing happens. That also helps ensure there's no lingering, um, lingering, lingering electrical charge in the computer. Alright, to remove the keyboard, this can be a little bit of a tricky operation. Um, it's recommended to use some plastic uh, scribes, at least that's what Dell recommends. I, those are just a, simply a flat um, plastic uh, device. Um, I'm actually going to use a metal screwdriver. I'll warn you right now, you may scrape um, or damage the, the look along the edge of your keyboard. If you're careful, you should be able to get away with pretty minimal, if any, um, if any damage. Some ideas, I haven't actually tried this, but perhaps a flat putty knife. Uh, supposedly a big pen cap would work. Uh, this one doesn't seem to work. So, anyway, there's, there's four tabs. Um, if you look at the top of the keyboard here, you, those need to be disengaged to allow the keyboard to pop up and then slide out. So, We'll go ahead and start with uh, this one. You get your scribe in there, and if you look carefully, there's a little uh, plastic or metal uh, band. And if you can get get this under under that, it's going to take a little bit of prying here. I'm I'm clipping it between this. Uh, this edge of the the palm rest assembly here. Um, and trying to clip that to free it from the uh, the plastic tabs if you will, that are holding it in place. There. Oh, and this one popped out on its own. While I'm doing that, I'm kind of pulling the keyboard toward me a little bit uh, to help those get freed up. Once it's out, you now need to slide the keyboard away from you because there are some tabs that are concealed over here, some, some loops. So you can just get a little, oh boy, learn how to uh, reattach the key as well. All right, so careful not to damage, that's uh, easily repaired. There's these clips here that we were trying to disengage. Once those come over, we've got the keyboard upside down. So to remove the keyboard um, cable, uh, if you have a backlight on your keyboard, it will be attached right here. You simply reach under this black flap flip it up and then slide the cable out. We can now set our keyboard aside. 